Okay, here we go with another weekly training tip. My name is Corey Christ, and we are going to talk about going long today. So if you have ever been a little intimidated, a little frightened <laughs> of trying to achieve that super long run, super long ride, well, you're not alone. I will say that every time I have attempted to bump up a distance target or a duration target, whether that be in training or a race, I have been completely terrified because you never know how it's gonna work out. I remember when I was working up towards my first century ride and I was gradually building up to the distance until the day where I was like, all right, I can do a hundred kilometers. And I went out and I crushed 100K. I was super proud of myself. I came back home and I started uh, chatting with some of my cyclist friends. I was fairly new to the sport at the time and I was bragging, oh yeah, I did a century ride, no problem. And they're like, wow, I'm surprised you were able to go out and do 160 kilometers. Now again, I'm in Canada, so metric system, uh, 100 miles and uh, you were able to do that already. And I <laughs> went, oh. Well, I actually did 100 kilometers, not 100 miles. So, of course, to them, a uh, century, a true century ride anyway, was 100 miles. And, uh, well, that became the next goal. But it didn't matter whether it was running, going from 5K to 10K to a half marathon to a marathon. Same with cycling, working my way up to the real century ride or in triathlon, slowly working myself up to uh, Ironman distance. Every time uh, going into that unknown zone, well, there's a little bit of, I'll say, fear. <laughs> and if anything, the best motivation for training is fear. So use it. <laughs> but I have a few tips for you today in terms of reaching those distance goals, especially if you're trying to really push, uh, push your limits of what you think is possible. And I will say that as soon as you complete a distance, well, to do it again is simple. And then eventually you're just like, eh, yeah, 100K, 100 miles, eight hours, whatever, no problem. Maybe. <laughs> So as mentioned, it's okay, embrace the fear, use that as motivation, use it in your training. But as you are training, slowly build up to the distance. So if you really want to tackle some of those long rides or runs, don't start there. It's not going to go very well for you. <laughs> Sure, maybe you're going to be able to do it, but if you really want to enjoy the experience, enjoy the journey getting there. So when I first started cycling, I didn't start off with, again, riding, going out for three, four, five hours. I started with literally 45 minutes. It was, you know, 15, 20 kilometer rides, and I slowly built up from there. And again, as you slowly progress, it will become, or it will seem more and more attainable the closer and closer you get to the goal. So take your time, build it up, especially in running, just to the factor of injury. So running, for sure, slowly build it up. Uh, when I started running, man, it was only like two, three kilometers of walking and running. So again, start really slow. Misery loves company. So if there's any lessons I've learned, drag out your friend or friends. Have a little uh, company out there. If you get into trouble, you have a little extra moral support or someone to turn around and go get the car for you. <laughs> but just having the ability to talk to someone, time will pass a lot quicker. You're able to achieve this uh, goal together. And if they've already achieved the goal that you're trying to achieve, then, uh, you know, it's super easy. And if they've done it, well, you can too. So bring some company with you. Come prepared. Now, that's just not in the training, but you are going on a long ride, long run. Bring the proper apparel, sunscreen, tools. Of course, we're going to talk about hydration and fueling in a second, but come prepared. That confidence in knowing that you have brought all the things to account for any bad thing that could happen because, again, the longer you go, the more chances something wrong might happen, like a flat, like getting out on a long run and, you know, having some sort of niggle or nutrition issue or the blistering sun. So anyway, 
come prepared and you should feel more confident in tackling again that long distance goal that you have fueling properly incredibly important the longer you go the more important it is to make sure that you're replacing the calories you're burning off to stay hydrated to replace the electrolytes i talked more about fueling last week or a a couple weeks ago but again it is incredibly important if you want to feel good right to the end then again this is even more important because trust me as soon as those glycogen stores become depleted you hit the wall or the energy falls off it's going to be a mind game up here as well so it's just not you know the fact that you don't feel like you have any energy your brain is really uh <laughs> effective at, at uh, changing your motivation and making you want to stop again for the protection of your overall well-being so fuel properly you'll enjoy the experience a lot more same kind of uh, or same type of thinking pace yourself <laughs> you cannot ride as hard as you can if you are going super long for multiple hours zone one zone two very easy lower aerobic intensities mashed with proper fueling you're going to be able to do it no problem but again pace yourself and if you bring friends make sure they pace themselves too <laughs> so choose your friends wisely last one unless you're in a race no rush stop for coffee stop for lunch take breaks you can get off the bike you can walk or stop and take in the scenery on a run so again don't feel like you need to rush through it do it continuously at least for the first time because again once you do it the first time the second time third time fourth time becomes easier and easier and easier until you just like again ah i'm gonna go out and run for two and a half hours or i'm gonna go ride i don't know a century ride <laughs> so hopefully that helps you work towards your distance goals achieve those distance goals and eventually that'll just be regular routine for you so happy training till next time take care bye bye